Howdy, y'all. It is Jim again, and unfortunately for you, we're going to be talking about numbers today in the network test. Specifically, a couple of things. I'm level 21 here with this much HP, FP, stamina, all of this flat defense just to the left side of those slashes, and this much AR in the top right. Also, resistance is down there, too, if you would like to note that as well. I'm about to be summoned into the world of a friend who is rune level 5. Now, if we were to assume that Elden Ring has a similar matchmaking range as Dark Souls 3, then rune level 5 hosts can't summon level 21 people. In fact, if I were to get summoned in, similar to Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Dark Souls Remastered, I would be scaled down. Interesting to note, though, is how much I end up getting scaled down. And behold, (laughs) half of my health half of the blue bar, half of my stamina, half of my flat defenses, some of my resistances, and a little bit of my AR, though that number is actually a lie. When we go into the cave, as it turns out, I can't one-shot any of these wolves. And in my own world, I can do exactly that. Nuts. Bewildering. I... It's one of the biggest issues with overleveled summons in Dark Souls 3 and with Bloodborne in particular is how, though they might get scaled down in health, sometimes it's not enough. Specifically, in Dark Souls 3, flat defenses remain the same. So if you're level 700 or whatever and you get summoned into like a level 80 world, all the points that you ended up putting in vitality, which affected the flat defense, still remained. So if you ended up hitting those blue shielded fellows wielding full havels, not only did they have the benefit of wearing full havels with all the percentage absorption, but they had that additional vitality helping them out, making them harder to kill, despite having the HP cut. But now here, everything takes a hit. Now where normally if I were to run through this cave in my own world, it would be a breeze. Now I'm fearing for my life. Uh, If you would like to look away and just hear me talk, go right ahead. We are going to go into this boss fog. But even here, fighting this boss, not only does this mini boss have increased health because of the co-op factor, I'm doing less damage I have less FP to shoot my spells, and I have less stamina to go to town on this boss. Similarly so, I am fearing for what little red bar that I do have. In every sense of the word, I can't take a hit. I don't have the health. I don't have the flat defenses. I am just like the level 5 host friend that I'm with here. It is crazy. It is nuts. If From Software has made this a mechanic that will not change between now and full release, I am actually here. Here, here comes my opinion. I am a fan of this change. It, it honestly feels, from first glance, that if you are overleveled and you get downscaled, everything takes like a 50% penalty: health, FP, stamina, your defenses, and your damage. Maybe not your damage. Maybe it's a more complex factor with that, but it, it felt like it. It felt like my damage was proportional to the damage my level 5 host friend was at. In order to keep this downscaling legitimate, is if From Software patches out the unscaled Dark Souls 3 glitches that while it wasn't tested for, I'm willing to bet that that is actually still in the game. What originally was possible in Dark Souls 3 where you could override the downscaling. We hope that gets patched when the full game comes out. And two, maybe this might encourage 
folks to, hey, let's say you play the game one time and a friend picks the game up on sale. The fact that you know that the downscaling factor is a thing in this game, it might encourage you to just start up a new character again, to play through the game again. Return to the lands between, the game's not even out and we're already talking about returning to it, but you, you know what I'm saying. As somebody who does like to co-op from time to time, I'm not, I'm not a big bad invader all the time. Sometimes I actually like to play the games and help folks out just to just to see the enjoyment on their face when they're, you know, when we're sharing camaraderie, jolly cooperation as it is called because it is. Even if I did bring an overleveled character into their world, I'm not exactly clearing the way for them. No, no, no. It's the teamwork between us that makes the game easier rather than just one cooperator making it easier. I like the idea of that. Similarly, I could just start a new character and co-op normally and we're both progressing at a natural rate side by side and next thing you know, the downscaling thing doesn't affect either one of us. But we're still leveling up according to the progression of the world. Well, we'll see how From Software has crafted their progression in this game because, you know, we're going to see a how to be overpowered in one hour or less video, I can most definitely assure you. But anyway, I just wanted to make note of this mechanic. I won't keep you alone for it any longer. Hope y'all are taking care today. You have a good night. Kiss somebody square on the cheek. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.